Hello, I'm Hans Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. I feel like I'm from UK, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. This is Yoda Night Wisdom. Hope I sound good. You sound perfect. Um, much better. Thank you. I'm going to start off um, on a positive note, so that simply means we won't be talking about Man United. <laughs> <laughs> two, second, two seconds into the interview, come on. <laughs> wow. That's the icebreaker. Seriously, oh my gosh. <laughs> How are you? How's your day been so well, far? It was much better until just now. <laughs> It was good. You right. can guess who I support, and I can't, but I can't help but to put a dagger in your back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who do you support, Arsenal? There we go. Okay, yeah, my brother supports Arsenal, so I, I deal with that on a daily basis anyway. See, there yeah, we go, there right. we go. I knew I was onto something <laughs> mm -hmm. special. So <laughs> how has the Commonwealth treated you so far? We know you're preparing to compete, but how's everything going for you so far? Yeah, it's been really good so far. I've been down here since well, a week ago today. So I've had a good amount of time to get to grips with the village, to get to grips with the venue, and just to kind of appreciate and enjoy the vibe. Um, you know, it's, it's a different environment to the Olympic Games last year. So everything seems just a little bit more calm and everyone's just a little bit, you know, more relaxed. And, and that's really nice. So I've been enjoying my time here so far, but I'm looking forward to getting into competition. Is that just the, the surrounding as in Birmingham? Is that slightly different to, to Leeds or is there some similarities there? Uh, it's relatively similar, to be fair. Um, I, I don't think there's too much difference between Birmingham and Leeds. It's just a slightly bigger city. And, um, you, you know, Leeds is definitely growing and, and developing as a city as well. There's a lot going on up there. Um, I'd definitely rank it higher than Birmingham. <laughs> but I might be slightly biased. You might want to say that a little bit quieter, Yona. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Um, I might be slightly biased, but no, it's it's good to be down here. It's it's my first time like actually spending a bit of time in Birmingham. I've been here, um, you know, on days and weekends, but not too frequently. But it's you know it's a nice city, and you know there's some awesome facilities down here for these games, especially the pool. So I hope that I get the opportunity to come back and compete at this pool mm -hmm. in the future. I've noticed something about you um, just by looking at, you know, how you conduct yourself on social media. And I can tell, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you, you come across as a harsh critique on yourself. Yeah, I'm my own biggest critic, which is a bit of a gift and a curse. I think it's important to, you know, hold yourself to high standards if you want to do well in, in sport and in competition. And also, I've been around some awesome awesome divers like really world-class divers and that's also who I've compared myself to so because of that I think of myself as you know having very high standards and when I don't meet those standards then I'm not happy with myself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and even though people tell me that I'm doing fine I'm doing well if there's something that I haven't quite done as well as I want to do it I'm not happy about it and yeah. I'll try my best to work at it and it's never a negative yeah it's n it never leans towards the negative side it's always learning and development and process and moving forward because if I make a mistake I just want to try and do it better the next time and the next opportunity yeah and that's been reflected in my competitions I'm always trying to find that little bit more and get that little bit better yes yes a man who likes to seek perfection I take it yeah. you'll be diving um towards the latter stages of this week correct that's right yeah I compete on the fourth and the sixth so the diving's right towards the end of the games how do you feel about the, the, the organisers um, dubbing the games as the friendly? Because I can tell you're highly competitive. I'm sure you're not looking and thinking this is a friendly. You're, you want to dive towards greatness, don't you? Yeah, I, I think it's the more the atmosphere and the vibe that kind of brings the friendly games um, tag. Mm -hmm. The competition itself is, is definitely serious competition. And, you know, I want to compete as well as possible. I'm trying to do my absolute best and trying to get medals because I think I'm capable of doing that. But yeah, the, the whole vibe around the games, I think because there's less pressure maybe for certain nations, it's not a competition that has any bearing on funding or things like that. So mm -hmm. everyone's a little bit more relaxed from a management point of view, which I think filters down to the athletes. But regardless, when we step out into the arena, onto the boards for the competition, the friendly games goes out the window for sure. Fantastic. Speaking of support, um, here's a question for you. In terms of growth and development, how pivotal has Mr. Levi Roots been to your career? <laughs> yeah, um, I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for, for that man. It's 
the, the longer that I continue diving for, the more appreciative I am of his support because I've been exposed to opportunities and experiences that I never would have achieved if it wasn't for him. And, you know, I approached him as a 17-year-old boy who had this wild dream and vision and ambition and hope and any other word that describes it in a similar way. And he was able to see through that and see an investment and the potential talent that he could back and support. And yes, I wanted to do it to make that support worthwhile, but you know, for him to take that chance, I, I still question it to the day, like why did you choose to say mm -hmm. yes? Why did you decide that? And I'm just so, so grateful for everything that he's given to me. And I'm grateful that the relationship and the connection is continuing. Um, and hopefully even after I retire from diving, mm -hmm. um, whenever that might, may be, I hope that we can still have that bond. And I'm sure we will because the journey that we've been on, yeah, I've kind of been there to deliver the performances and been through the ups and the downs, but his support has been completely unconditional. He's never put any pressure on me for any results or any outcomes. Mm -hmm. And that in itself has just allowed me to dive freely and gain the experience that I needed to make it to the level that I wanted to be at. Amazing. Did he call you last season when um, his boys talked to you in at the Emirates? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's funny. We never actually speak about football. I don't, what? Even know if, I don't even know if he knows that I'm a Man United fan because we, I've never spoken to him I'm about not going to tell him because that funding and support might get uh, cut. Exactly, I, I, I won't exactly. tell him. That might be why I've stayed quiet about it. <laughs> 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 What's your hopes and top four this season? Where are you looking to finish? Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm almost at the point where I think that they could surprise a lot of people mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. the way that I see it is they've got a lot of good players and the majority of those players had a terrible season last year. It is so unlikely that they all play that badly again. Yeah. So a few of them must improve their level. Hopefully the new manager does something. So I think we might surprise people and get a little bit closer to the top four than people think. All right. Well, well, I'm going to put my neck on the line here and I say, I fancy taking you on in the Europa League <laughs> and maybe tucking you in and sending to your bed uh, by the grace of God. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yona. Uh, best of luck with your dive. And I'm sure you continue to um, don the black, green and gold in um, with great pride, as you always do. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There's a lot more to come from me. This is just another stepping stone along the road. And even after I finish diving, I've got a lot more to give back to the country of Jamaica. So I appreciate the support and keep on backing me.